What I have inside of this case here is what I refer to as a spider stove. Here in a minute, you'll see why I call it that. Funny enough, the company does not refer to this stove as a spider stove, but rather a stove that was inspired by woodpeckers. Yes, I know all of this sounds weird, but it will make sense in just a moment. This is a stove from a company that I recently discovered thanks to a viewer named Pete. Pete, my friend, thank you very much for sharing with me all of these weird products that you find online. I really do appreciate it. This stove comes from a company called Camping Moon, and this is the XD3NE butane stove. What a name. This is a rather interesting butane powered stove that's fairly inexpensive. In fact, it's about half the cost of a typical spider stove from companies such as Covia, Soto, Primus, and so on. With the storage case that is included with this stove, we have a grab handle on top. You can see here with this storage case, this is made from a canvas. This is quite substantial, and it's surprising that something this high quality would come with a stove that costs this little. With the zipper, it does have a zipper pull on it. Here we have some instructions, and here we have the stove itself. This is why I refer to this stove as a spider stove, because the legs fold out like this, and it looks somewhat like a spider. With the stove here, we have four legs and four pot supports. The top of the supports, they have some jimping to hold your pot pan cup into place. Here we have the burner head, and it does have a windscreen around it. What you're looking at here is the heat shield that's going to protect the butane canister, the fuel, in other words. Here we have the fuel port, and here we have the adjuster for the stove itself. This is certainly different. I have never seen this type of adjuster on a camping stove before. The legs themselves are not locked into place, but it does take quite a bit of effort to pop them out of place to fold this up. So you don't have to worry about the legs flopping around or anything like that. Let's go ahead and attach a gas canister. So you push it in, turn it, and that locks it into place. And now the canister is attached. From that point, you push down the heat shield over the gas canister. And now the stove is ready to use. You may be wondering whether or not the stove has an igniter. This version does not. Only recently did I discover that there's two versions of this stove. A version without an igniter and a version with one. I will talk more about these two stoves here in just a minute. But first, let's go ahead and let's do a quick boil test. Let's see how long it takes to boil two cups of water with this stove. That was rather quick, my friends. Two cups of water in two minutes and 26 seconds. For a butane powered stove, that's not bad, not bad at all. Not bad in real world conditions. Speaking of which, today it's about 55 degrees Fahrenheit and there's a slight breeze to the air. Now that we've seen this stove in action, let's go over some stats. As far as the BTUs go, we're looking at 11,260. This runs on one fuel type and one fuel type only, and that is butane. You cannot use adapters with this stove. This stove does feature a regulator, which is very important. That is going to give the stove a persistent level of performance, which is very important when the fuel canister is running low and when you're faced with cool conditions. As I mentioned previously, there are two different versions of this stove. One that has an igniter, and another that does not. The version that I have here does not have the built-in igniter, and that is the XD3NE. The version that does have the igniter is the XD3F. As far as the materials go, you're looking at stainless steel, aluminum, and brass, along with a polyester canvas case. The weight of the stove is 9.8 ounces. The weight of the storage case, 3.3 ounces. The weight of the entire kit is 13.1 ounces on my scale. As far as price goes, the version that I have here with no igniter, that is $45. The stove with the igniter is 47 bucks. Unfortunately, the search functionality on Amazon is terrible, so I did not see that there is a version with the igniter until after I purchased the version that I have here. If I had this information before, I would have purchased the version with the built-in igniter. 
Now that you all have seen the stove in action, we've gone over the stats, here are my impressions so far. As far as the materials go, they are top notch. This is a very sturdy, solid stove, especially for 45 bucks. As far as the build construction goes, there's no rough edges, nothing like that. This is a well-made product. As far as the design goes, I like everything about this stove, there's no issues here. In fact, I do not see any shortcomings when it comes to the overall design of this. It's very stable, it has good pot supports, it folds up, and that's what you would expect from a spider stove. We should talk about that aspect for a second. I call it a spider stove because it looks like a spider when the legs are folded out. The company says that they were inspired by a woodpecker, and that's how they came up with the overall design of this. Personally, I just barely see what they're talking about, but hey, whatever. It's a woodpecker spider stove. That's what I'm going to call it. What are you going to call it? Considering the overall size of this stove, it doesn't weigh that much. I mean, 13.1 ounces for the entire kit, that's not bad. Especially if you're someone who likes to do quite a bit of cooking. This is a larger stove, so if you're interested in doing more than just boiling water, this may appeal to you. Of course, if your focus is going ultralight, you could definitely get something else that's much lighter than this. If that's the case for you, the Camping Moon Freck stove is something that you should consider. It is excellent as well. Next, everybody, we should talk about the case that is included with this stove. As mentioned before, it offers a lot of protection for this stove, and it's nice that it is included with the stove at the $45 price range. A lot of stoves at this price range do not include any sort of storage bag or case, but this one does. With this being a spider stove, it is exceptionally stable, and we're talking about the legs and the pot supports as well. When it comes to the storage case, it is roughly six and a half inches wide, and it's about three inches deep. As far as the stove goes, it stands five inches tall, and it is about seven inches wide. And thanks to the large pot supports, you can use any pot, pan, or cup with this system, ranging to small cups to larger pans. The overall performance of the stove is very good considering this is a butane powered stove system. We boiled two cups of water in two and a half minutes, and that's not bad at all. When it comes to the adjuster, it does exactly what you would want it to do. You can make micro adjustments and you can easily turn it all the way up or off. Going back to the regulator that the stove features, it is impressive that at $45 this stove has one. Generally speaking, for stoves that cost around 40, 50 bucks or less, you're not going to find a regulator. Oftentimes, regulators are reserved for very expensive stoves but that's not the case here. The last point that I will talk about in this preview is price. For $45, there's a lot of value here. This is a large stove. This is a cooking stove. Again, if you want something for just boiling water and that's it, you can go with something that's much smaller than this, even more powerful than this. But if you're someone who likes to run butane in the summertime, this stove I think is going to offer you a lot of versatility. Now, everyone, this is a preview. This is not a review. I just got this in. I'm going to test it out just as I always do. Anytime I come across a cool product, I like to do these previews so I can share it with you all and get your feedback. Plus, some of you may want to go out and purchase this stove as well. If you do, that's great. I don't care. Do whatever you want to. Again, the channel is agenda free. You can do anything you want to. It doesn't matter to me. I purchased this stove with my own money and I'm here to share my thoughts. What I see right now is a stove that I really like. It's a funky spider woodpecker stove that runs on inexpensive butane and the overall performance is very good. From this point on, I'm going to be testing out this stove, and I will be back with my ultimate review in the future. Now it's your turn to sound off, everybody. Comment down below. What do you all think about this spider woodpecker oddity? Pete, my friend, I don't know how you do it, but you always come across the weirdest stuff, including this stove. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. All right, everybody. I am done for now. Hit the thumbs up before you go. I do appreciate it. Take care. Be well. Strength and honor. Oh, yeah.